Hello, YouTube. After years of picking on my wife for not putting the North Pole sign pointing in the right direction, she finally did. That's actually north in my kitchen. She used to hang it on that wall all the time. Drove me nuts. Anyways, uh, just a little math quiz for you guys. Any of you uh, Mensa geniuses out there? I'm not really good with math, so I'm going to get you to help me out with this. Don't worry. It gets funnier. Or funner. I don't know. We'll decide. Anyways, so my first question to you is how many people do you know... And I mean, do you know, not like my third cousin's aunt's twice removed stepson told me. I mean, do you know that I've had the virus, the vid, the horribleness, the coup flu, the woo flu, the whatever another name you want to call for it, have had it and died or have had severe reactions? Now, there's a, there's a little variable in that number. Keep in mind that you must also remember that if it was your, you know, third cousin who smoked three packs a day, had diabetes, maybe don't put a full point for him. But, you know, whatever you want to do, I'm sure I'm sure the math will still work out fine. So, you know, just write that number down. If it's 100, write 100 down on your little piece of paper, okay? Put that at the top of your paper. Then, what I'd like you to do in your next, next number is write down... The number of businesses that you know have closed, been forced lockdowns, and have either closed or closed permanently in your area, then write down the number of jobs lost to people you know. I'd also like you to write down the number of restrictions you now deal with every day in your life. I'd also like you to write down the number of new rules you're dealing with in your, in your life. As a fun one, write down all the new phrases and words you've been forced to learn. For instance, social distancing, new normal. Write that number down as well. Now, also, write down the number of rights you've already had to give up. For instance, going out and seeing friends or having friends over. Or, you know, going to your local stores. You know, there was a big push for buy local a while ago. And now it's only buy big box or by internet, but whichever. So write all those numbers down and then just, just write down, I mean, specifically, it's, a, it's an annoying thing for a person like myself here in Canada, write down the number of lies you've been told. Like I can put one out real easy about this is uh, our head medical officer, Dr. Teresa Tam said, uh, no, you don't need to wear masks because we shipped them all to China was the was the slight subtext there and then when we all of a sudden started having some they went oh yeah you need to wear them and now it's oh those are these are good enough and no these are good enough and no these are so it's been several lies from her just in general but you know just write down all those all those numbers okay then take all those lower numbers add them up and then take your take that first number Put that uh, put it at the top of a, a, a your page, and subtract all those other numbers from your top number. Now, if that top number is not a lot bigger, and I mean a lot bigger than those bottom numbers, maybe something's not quite right, and maybe the way they're going about it in your area is wrong. I mean. Uh, I've heard this repeated from several other people, and let's parrot it. Uh, if lockdowns worked, why are we doing them again? I mean, if it was two weeks to flatten a curve, why is the new one coming up as four weeks? Uh, it's it's kind of interesting questions to ask, but we're not supposed to ask those questions because I'm pretty sure if you ask that question, you're a racist now. Because uh, you couldn't point anything out about Dr. Teresa Tam because she's of an Asian descent, which I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say that now. But anyways, guys, I'm just, just saying, it looks to me like a lot of the, a lot of the things in this, and the way they're going about it is a lot like seatbelts on a boat. Yeah. A seatbelt on a boat could help you in a very 
few circumstances. But for the most part, a seatbelt in the boat is just going to screw you over when bad things really happen. Think about it. Do a little math. Come back with your numbers. Feel free to make a video just like this. Do your own little math quiz. Ask your subscribers. I mean, I've only got about 500 subscribers. God bless you all for watching. And I'm sure I'm either going to get a few more subscribers from this video or I'm going to lose a bunch. Now, I do know some people in the medical community and uh, one friend of mine, Hooples, his numbers are going to be different than everybody else's because he's going to personally know some people and he lives in Toronto. He's also a nurse and me and him will differ on some questions about this, but I hope that this question will make him think about a few things and he can respond, which he always, always does. He responds to me very rationally and very considerately. Oops, sorry, I guess my camera's not focusing in on anyways. But anyways, guys, enjoy the blurry North Pole sign. And uh, feel free to make some videos. Tag me in it. Let me know you guys have made some videos. Talk to you all later. Have a good night, YouTube. Bye.